Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. Well, I'm at Adobe Max at the moment. We had a fantastic night at the Insider reception. In fact, the whole Insider day yesterday doing cool stuff. It's now three in the morning and I've had quite a few whiskeys, but you know what? I absolutely have to do this tutorial because it's a new feature coming to Adobe XD today, actually. And it's something that I know you guys have been very, very keen about and it's called states this enables us to add hover states or uh, different animation states to our components in xd and it's available today as well as a whole bunch of other features so it's definitely worth checking out so you can see here i have an artboard with a button and an arrow and some text what we're going to do is add a hover state to this and then below we have a switch. Now previously in XD you had to use multiple artboards to facilitate these really nice cool auto animations for things like switches and other UI elements. Now with states we can do that all on the same artboard. This is awesome, you're gonna love this. Okay so let's start with the button first, we'll select everything right click and select make component or well, the shortcut for that is command or control K. So this is now a component, a reusable asset and we can go up here into the property inspector, we have our default state. So this is how our button is going to start off. However, in the latest version of XD, we can add a state and we can add a new state or a hover state. So we'll start with hover state for the button and we can give this a name. So we'll just go with mouse over. Now what I can do is toggle between these two states and XD will show me those states as I switch between them. So with the mouse state selected, I can actually go in and make some changes. So I could maybe bring the text size up. We could even make the size of this arrow a little bit bigger. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. What's happening? Maybe we'll leave the arrow, but we'll move the position. We'll just, we'll shuffle it in a bit, move this around. So we're making some changes, even though that does look quite terrible. I'm sure what you do will look much better. So now I can click on this. And as I mentioned, you can just toggle between those states and just see the difference. And we can even go and add more states. In fact, you can add many, many more states, but we don't want to, so we'll just right click and delete that state. Okay, so now I'm on the default state. What I can do is jump over into prototype mode and you can see here, it has a link already because we created this as a hover state. And you can choose the action for how this happens, whether it's a transition or an auto animate, we're definitely going to be using auto animate. You can specify the easing settings and all of this good stuff down here, the duration. And then we just go up to play and I'll just bring this on screen. And when I hover over, you can see it plays that auto animation. So we don't just have static hover states, we can auto animate these. And honestly, what I've done here is just pretty basic, but you can do some really cool stuff, as I'm sure you know, with auto animate, it's really powerful. Okay, so that was hover states. Let's go back into design mode. Now we're gonna do a switch. This is the really cool one. So let's just zoom in a little bit over here. So I have a switch here, and if I select everything and just open up the layers panel, you can see I've named all of my layers. This is definitely something that you're going to want to do if you're having a more complex auto animation because Adobe XD will look at the layer names between the different artboards or in this case uh, on the state and then it will match those layer names up and auto animate them together. And it's just good practice to keep all of your layers named, all of your ducks in a row so to speak, just so everything's nice and organized, especially if someone else has to pick up your file, you know? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is with everything selected, I can now make this a component. There we go, fantastic. And I'm gonna add my new state up here. Now this is going to be a new state. And I'm gonna call this switch off. So at the moment you can see it's on, we have a green tick. I'm gonna change the color, but I'm also going to make the tick auto animate into like a cross. So it's gonna be really cool. So what I can do now is, remember I can toggle between these two states, so I have my off state selected, and with that selected, I can go in and make some changes. So we'll just change the color, we'll make this like a gray, we'll just copy that one throughout, and then we'll go in here and we'll change the text, so I'm deleting this one here, change the text. What am I talking about? There is no text. We're going to change the icon. 
Goodness me, how many whiskies? Okay, so I'm gonna duplicate this now and switch that around. But you can see because I have duplicated this, I've actually changed that layer name, which is going to cause problems when it comes to auto animating. So I just need to make sure that the switch dash line dash one is still in there. So Adobe XD will be able to auto animate between the two. And we'll just pop that in the middle. And of course I will need to move this to the other side for the switch to work. We'll bring this over as well. I think I've actually broken that cross there. <laughs> we'll try and do that again. We'll bring this over as one piece. There we go. Fantastic. So hopefully now if we go over into prototype mode, this is going to work. It's always good when things work in a tutorial. So I've got this component. I can select this. In fact, I'm going to start with the default state. So you can see as I switch between them, it shows me those different states. Now what I need to do is actually just click on the blue arrow, this little tab on the end here, and it will have this little wire coming off just linking to itself. And this trigger is a tap, not a hover. It's going to auto animate. Now, whereas we choose an artboard as the destination, now we can also choose a state. So I'm going to select this here. And then again, you can do all your easing and all your different settings because we are using auto animate. And then we just switch over back to the off state and go and click on this again, just single left click and just make sure you choose the state. So we're just going to link back to the other state. So essentially you're just linking the two different states together in prototype mode rather than linking to artboards or anything else. And if I go up and play this now, we have our hover button, yay! But we also have our switch that works and it auto animates as well. And as I say, this is something that we can now do with just a single artboard and using those component states rather than just having loads of different artboards purely to facilitate some really attractive auto animations. So this is an awesome addition to Adobe XD as well as a bunch of other features that are coming out today. So it's definitely worth downloading the latest version and having a go. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it, take care and I'll see you next time.